have succeeded! my worst mistake yet. Why am I so clumsy all the time? The women laughed and forgave me, but... Oh, how am I supposed to face them now? Hey there, Annette. What's with the sour face? Everything okay? I don't think I've ever seen you look so miserable. Don't tease me like that, Caspar. Can't you see I'm down? Sorry, sorry. Y you know I didn't mean it. Did something happen? You don't have to share if you don't want to, but I think talking it out might help. You might be right about that. Are you sure you don't mind? Not at all. Well, today they were short on staff in the dining hall, so I offered to help out, but I sort of messed up. Big. Oh no. What happened? All the plates in the kitchen went flying through the air, and the pot started giving off this weird blue steam. Wow, sounds more like art than cooking to me. The people in the dining hall saw the chaos and started panicking, and then soldiers came running. Finally, Catherine appeared and shut everyone up with a slash of Thunderbrand. All I was trying to do was help out. But in the end, I just ended up making more work for everyone. I'm awful like that. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Accidents happen. It's not like you were trying to make a mess. I know. The women at the dining hall laughed and forgave me, but... Was anyone hurt? Well, no, but... Well, there you go! No need to dwell on it and keep moping around. You had a bad day, but I'm sure you'll do better tomorrow. You know what? You're right! I guess all I can do is try harder next time. Thanks, Caspar. That really did help me feel better. I can't keep moping around. I've got to work on my cooking skills. And I can count on you to be my taste tester, right? Right! Uh, sure. Just as long as you're not making any new art projects. <laughs> What is on my agenda for this afternoon? Professor Hanneman, may I have a moment of your time? Ah, it's you. Very well. I am quite busy, but if you are here to discuss my Crest research, I would be happy to oblige. I'll pass on that offer. I'm just hoping you'll explain something to me. Oh, I doubt if I have anything of particular interest to share. Why did you abandon your noble standing in the Empire? And don't say it was for your crest research. There are institutes for that within the Empire. You could easily have remained a noble and still been able to visit Garrick Monk, or request the cooperation of the Church. Certainly that was an option, but I desired a better research environment. Treasures and holy artifacts reside here that cannot be examined by someone outside the Church. I required access to those things, no matter the cost. But surely your noble status would have allowed you greater funding and resources. Even secrets of the Kingdom and the Alliance would have been easier to obtain as a noble of the Empire. What you say is true. I cannot deny that. Both paths have advantages and disadvantages. Hmm. I see you're unwilling to be forthcoming on that topic. I don't know what you mean. I've heard that you used to enthusiastically research crests for the Empire. You abandoned the Empire, yet retained your focus on crest research. I just wanted to know why. I feel your suspicions of me are unwarranted. I haven't the time now, but perhaps I will tell you more if the opportunity arises. <laughs> Caspar, that equipment is new. It is suiting. It... it suits you. Oh, 
Um, right. Thanks. You get more strength each day. I do not want to be falling behind. I'm impressed with how much stronger you've gotten, too. More than I have. No, Kaspar, you are impressing to me. I want to be training with you. Just hold on, Petra. What is wrong? It's your attitude. How can you act so casual around me? My father killed your father. You shouldn't be able to stand the sight of me. You actually hate me, right? That's fine. I can take it. I completely understand. Just be honest. Give it to me straight. <sighs> if our roles were reversed, I don't think I'd be able to forgive you. I don't understand how you could just... You are not the one who did the killing, Kaspar. Our parents had... conflict. But we are not them. I have no worry about it. You should not either. I don't need to worry? Impossible! I don't think I'll ever be... You must. If not, the conflict will keep carrying on. If children cannot forgive, it will not ever have an ending. Is that what you are wanting? Well, of course not. I... Please, give it some thinking. I will be leaving now. You're in high spirits today, Dorothea. Yes. I have met someone quite charming recently. I'm hoping we can spend more time together soon. Well, I wish you the best of luck. I wish I had some advice to offer. Alas, I do not. Eh, don't worry too much about it, Aidy. I guess romance isn't really something you're interested in anyway. I'm not completely disinterested. Oh yeah? Is there someone you have your eye on? Hmm. To be honest, there's nothing resembling romance in my life at present. It's not that I'm disinterested. I'm simply too busy with other endeavors. I have no time to spare for such things. That's not surprising. You're not just any old noble after all. Anyone who has feelings for you... Well, they're in for a pretty complicated life. True, and I can't ignore the possibility that I may have to marry for political purposes. I doubt I'll ever have the opportunity for a passionate romance as long as I live. That's no way to talk. You meet the right person and boom, you have passion to spare. Could be someone you've just met or someone you've known your whole life. There's no telling how life will go. Something could even spark between the two of us. You and I? Now that is an entertaining thought. If such an exciting future is in store, I look forward to it. Oh yeah? <laughs> That's awfully sweet of you, Aidy. <laughs> Are you surprised, Professor? This is the Holy Tomb. To think that there was such a vast space beneath the monastery all this time. It's hard to imagine that any of these enormous contraptions are of this world.
This is where the goddess who created this world was laid to rest, along with her children. It is said that our creator, the goddess Sothis, sat upon this very throne. Professor, do you recognize this throne? So long. I have waited so very long for this day. Sit upon the throne. I have no doubt you will be gifted a revelation from the goddess. Well? It was supposed to be but a step away. What could possibly be missing? Stop right there! <laughs> Don't move, any of you. If you move, your lives will be forfeit. Thank you ever so much for guiding us this far. The Imperial Army will now take possession of everything in the Holy Tomb. <laughs> What's the Imperial Army doing here? Wait, does he work for the Flame Emperor? So the Flame Emperor is connected to the Empire. I never thought that possible. Edelgard, did you know about this? Yes, in fact, I gave the order. I am the Flame Emperor. I guess that's the end of play at school, Lady Edelgard. I mean, your majesty. Get to work, everyone. The Crest Stones belong to us now. And take those filthy bones, too. Insolence! You will atone for the sin of trampling on this holy resting place. Professor, destroy these villainous traitors who dare dishonor our creator! Wait, what's the meaning of this, Edelgard? You... made use of us? Why? I'm sorry, my teacher. I cut this path, and now I must follow it. My friends, I ask that all of you stay back. It is not my intention to fight you. By order of the Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hressvelg, I command you to collect the Crest Stones. If anyone attempts to stop us, kill them.
welcome. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Thanks a bunch! I will not allow such violence from the Empire. Strike down the rebels and protect the Holy Tomb. The Crest Stones are in the caskets. Open every last one of them. The Holy Tomb must not be desecrated. Protect as many of the Crest Stones as you can.
I am Ferdinand von Eyer. The mark of nobility. Stay focused. Should I have held back? I will get the victory. I will remove you! Flame Spirit protects me. Just like that. I'm on it. To work. That's my cue. I'm impressed. Every last one of those crescent stones. That is enough. Do you even know what those stones are? Ride. 
Did that suffice? Getting stronger all the time. Must be awful losing to me. Just give up. Sleep in the dirt. <laughs> Impressive.
I will not hold back. You should be honored. Enlightening. A chance to grow. what I was after.
You are not. The noble standard. myself. I'm in love. how this feels.
our chance. Be gone. I'm pretty much perfect. It's over. Should I have held back? Never doubted you. That's my cue. Appreciate it. Nothing.
always nice. Only a fool challenges me. Strength is all for a mercenary. As expected. I'm only getting better with age. I will no doubt make use of this. battle, a chance to grow. One more success. Disappointing, but I will not misplace my heart.
roses have thorns. I've grasped it! How lovely!
Didn't give it your all. It's fine to kill those who resist. Now then, how shall I cook you? Torture them! Despite what I said, I have no intention of killing you. So why not stand down and get out of my way? We won't hold back! Following orders. I just. Admiration. I will make no excuses. Thank you for all that you did for me. In truth? No. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> so, the end has come.
You have disappointed me, Edelgard. To think that a descendant of House Heresmelg would dare betray the Holy Church. So, it is my teacher who stands in my way. I always knew it would come to this. Professor, kill Edelgard at once. She is a danger to all of Fodlin. Such a rebellious heart cannot be allowed to keep beating. But are you certain that... No. Now isn't the time for discussion. Words cannot properly express my gratitude, Professor. So, this is the choice you have made. You are just another failure. Your presence soils this holy tomb and disgraces my brethren. I will not allow one who would lend our enemy strength to wield the power of the goddess Sothis. I have passed judgment, and now I shall rip your chest open and take back your heart myself! <laughs> that must be the Immaculate One. Yes, the monsters that have controlled Bodlin in secret for far too long. Rhea is their leader. There is no time to waste. Your Majesty, Professor, we must escape while we can. Part 1. White Clouds. Lone Moon. Outset of a Power Struggle Together, the people of Fodlin relish the beauty of the brilliant moon overhead as another year ends. They recall sad partings and new acquaintances alike, but each person must still walk their chosen path alone. With each day, the presence of spring grows stronger, and yet a lone moon still haunts the sky. A silent reminder, perhaps, of some inescapable truth. Uh, we somehow managed to escape. This is one of the Imperial Army's provisional camps. Here we can organize our forces. Before we go any further, I want all of you to really ask yourselves if you're certain you wish to join us. As expected, Flane has chosen to leave our ranks. When I saw our professor running off, I ran about as fast as I could to catch up. Caspar, death finds those who run without thinking. You gave no thought to the war fog. My grandfather was the leader of Bridget, and I hope for us to be allies with the Empire. I will be staying. Is this a good idea? Did I make the right choice? Oh, but my family is part of the Empire, and our professor is here. You're fine here with us, Bernie. Though it's true certain houses were against the Imperial Princess. I assume you're referring to my family. I must believe that the conclusion I came to was the correct one. You are the Emperor now. I am the only one left who is qualified to guide you at this point. 
I'm only here because I know it would be troublesome to stand against you. I'm not just here for you, Aidy. I'm here to follow our dear professor. Of course, I don't have any territory to offer, so Hubie may not even want me here. The greater our numbers, the better. Your reasons for being here are of no consequence. I think I understand where you're coming from. But now, I wish to hear of your resolve. Like you, I have risen to meet my destiny. I cut this path, and I will see it through to the end. Following me is akin to pointing a sword at the goddess herself. One misstep, and we fall to our ruin. You have now witnessed the Archbishop's true self. She is a cruel beast. Those who rule this world use that beast's power to fabricate miracles. All to control those who blindly believe in the goddess. They conceal the truth and force their lies on the nobility. They mercilessly annihilate anyone who defies them. I know this because I have lived it. After what you have seen, is there any room for doubt? The Church of Saros has great influence and power. Their control over the Lords of the Kingdom and the Alliance is nearly absolute. We are the only ones who can stop this indomitable enemy that has plagued our world for ages. We fight for humanity, for all of Fodlan. If you dare walk this path with me, take your first step. It's now or never. Thank you, my friends. We are the true face of the Empire, and we will triumph! That was incredible, Lady Edelgard. Thank you. Honestly, I'm relieved. They really chose to follow me. I was resolved to move forward alone if I had to. But in my heart, I hoped it wouldn't come to that. So long as I am here, you will never be alone. Please do not forget that. And it would seem that the Professor also has a key role to play in this. You're right. Now, I must speak with our dear teacher. Please, make preparations. The messenger should be here shortly. Consider it done. Professor, may I speak with you? I appreciate it. I... I'm just... anxious. It feels like the weight of this burden is crushing me. At this very moment, on my orders, I'm starting a war. An army far larger than the one that attacked the Holy Tomb last month will soon be locked in battle. Long-devised strategies are unfolding across Fodlan. Leaders are deciding their loyalties and preparing to fight. So many generals and soldiers will die. It's inevitable that civilians will get caught up in the chaos as well. There will be countless casualties. With a single command, the flames of war will rage across all corners of this realm. And I am the one who is giving the order. Yes, it is. There is no turning back. No matter how much blood flows at my feet, I will not relent. We must break the bonds that the depraved church has placed on Fodlan. These sacrifices will allow us to create a future where we never need sacrifice again. It may seem contradictory, but it's the only way. <laughs> Listen to me. I made up my mind long ago. Yet here I am, seeking your approval. Tell me the truth, my teacher. Are you happy with your decision to stay by my side? Unlike me, you can still walk away from all of this. This path leads to the death of the Archbishop and the servants of the Church. Can you live with that? I never thought... I'm sorry, it was a foolish question. I believe in you, Professor. And you believed in me. With that knowledge, I have the strength to keep fighting. Let's go. There's something I need to say to Hubert. Your Majesty, the latest report indicates that our main army is advancing as planned. Also, the preparations for your manifesto are almost complete. 
We will be distributing our manifesto to every lord within Fodlan. We will expose the dark side of the Church of Saros and the foul practices of the nobles from the Kingdom and the Alliance. We will force the people of Fodlan to open their eyes to the truth and relinquish any remaining conviction to unite against the Empire. Certain nobles have already offered us their support. Yes, there are other nobles who oppose the Church. We will condemn those who deserve condemnation and forgive those who deserve forgiveness. We have already purged some of the Imperial nobles who are morally rotten. My father among them. <laughs> How unfortunate. And soon we will invade and conquer Garrick Mach. Our main army has already departed the Imperial capital. They will arrive at the monastery in two weeks' time. There we will join forces with them. As for us, I'd like your opinion on how we should be positioned within the army. Your Majesty intends to fight alongside the Professor, correct? In that case, you will not be incorporated into the Empire's main army. Your squad can move freely about the battlefield under supervision of the Imperial forces. That would be most prudent. Now that I'm the Emperor, we can't let it slip that I'm following your command in battle, Professor. I fully object to the notion of you fighting on the front lines. Hubert, we've already discussed this. My apologies. I overstepped. Now that the details are settled, all that's left is to come up with a name for ourselves. In honor of our time at the Academy, how about we call ourselves the Black Eagle Strike Force? I'm so happy you feel that way. I must confess that I spent all night thinking about it. I'll leave it to you to prepare the Black Eagle Strike Force for departure. I'm not sure whether I should believe all that Edelgard says, but if her words are true, I think it's best to be her ally. So I'll fight. I'm not at ease with that decision just yet, but I'll stick by it. Okay. I came this far mostly on impulse, but I wonder if it was the right choice. Everything will be okay, right, Professor? I'm not wrong, am I? If I know that you think it's okay, I feel like it will be easier to believe in myself. Professor. Um, Professor? I'm okay with fighting whoever we need to, but I really don't want to battle my father. Oh, but I know that something is wrong with the church. And more than that, I believe in you, and I trust your word. You lead, and I'll follow. Thank you so much.
Yes. I have heard the name Lord Vestra mentioned among the Purge noble families of the Empire. He's Hubert's father, but Hubert seems rather unconcerned about it. That alone is why we soldiers find Hubert quite frightening. I'm Randolph von Burglis. I'm not very high in the ranks yet, but I'm more or less a general. Just like Kaspar, I'm from House Burglis. My mother married into House Burglis after I was born, so my position within the family is rather lowly. But I'm determined to make something of myself in this battle to bring glory to my part of the family, for the sake of my mother and sister. I believe that this is the first time we have met. My name is Ladislava. I have the great honor of leading Lady Edelgard's personal guard. Her Majesty is as hard on others as she is on herself. She may seem composed, but that is only because she conceals her more passionate emotions. For that reason, she is often misunderstood. But now she has you by her side. I find that most reassuring. I look forward to working with you. gone and done it now, huh? What would my old man say if he knew I'd sided with the Empire? His Highness must be angry. Dimitri gets super scary when he's like that. I wonder how I'm going to die. Ugh, my knees turn to jelly just thinking about it. No, I, I can't think that way. I promise to fight alongside you. I'm here until the end. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm terrified, but I feel so calm. This one? Thank you. This one? Thank you. This one? Thank you. This one? This one? Thank you. This one? Thank you. Please come again. What do you require? to hire you can rely on us do you want to hire the we'll protect you with our lives do you want to hire this we've got you covered do you want to hire we'll do our best To hire we're here do you want to hire this let's give it all we've got do you want to hire you can rely on us farewell hey there
this it? There you go. Is this it? There you go. Come back anytime. Welcome. Will this one do? Many thanks. Will this one do? Many thanks. Will this one do? Many thanks. Come back soon. to think long and hard about this one. Since birth, I've believed in the teachings of Saros without ever questioning them. But Her Majesty's words are true. To think that the Archbishop can take on such a monstrous form. Oh, that could have gotten dangerous fast. If I stayed at the monastery, I would have had to fight my father. We aren't especially close, but he's not an opponent I'd want to face. I'd almost rather fight a monster. Anyway, it looks like he's going to be leading the Western units. I wonder if we'll wind up fighting the Kingdom's army, and who decided to fight for the Church. The most important nobles in the Empire are known for taking power from the previous Emperor, my father included. I didn't think it possible that the Imperial Princess could ascend the throne so easily. However, it seems that both my father and Kaspar's are supporting Edelgard. Having both the Minister of Domestic Affairs and Minister of Military Affairs on your side gives you total control over the Empire's military and finances. You must have been making preparations for quite some time without anyone noticing. Black Eagle Strike Force, eh? I like it. It's really a twist of fate that brought me to this side of things. But I'm still proud to be here. Teacher. I asked Edelgard what happened to my father. He was dismissed as Prime Minister and is under house arrest in the Imperial capital. He always was a greedy, arrogant man. Some would say that this is the fate he deserves. And yet I cannot help but feel indignant. After all his hard work for the Empire, to be disgraced like this. I am conflicted, Professor. I do not know what to do. As the next Duke Iyer, should I follow Edelgard into battle? of home. Hubert told me something. He said my father was stripped of his title. I guess he did as he pleased and opposed Edelgard. Wait, does that mean my father's going to be home all the time now? On second thought, I think I'm fine right here. Empire and Bridget were once warring with each other, but now I have made the decision to be fighting with the Empire. It is a choice of irony, I feel. But I am having no regrets. My belief is with you and with Edelgard. This is giving me great joy.
This is not belonging to me. This is giving me great joy. Edelgard became emperor and raised an army, huh? Who knew the kid had it in her? I mean, yeah, of course, I knew she'd be emperor eventually, but the more I think about it, the more surprised I am. I wonder who's gonna win. Thinking about it makes me scared. We're fighting the Knights of Saros. Still, I know you'll figure something out. Are you sure? I love it! Are you sure? Thank you, I love it! It is not up to Her Majesty to bring the students to our cause. That task falls to you. Those who have forsaken their homelands to join the Empire will be feeling... vulnerable. You are uniquely able to provide emotional support. Please use that gift to guide others down the path that Lady Edelgard has laid before us. I ask you to do this from the bottom of my heart. Studying my preferences? Clever. We will join forces with the main army and attack Garrick Mok. It's a fortress built on steep ground, but it's never seen battle. That means we don't know much about it from a military perspective. But if we use all of the power at our disposal, we will capture it. From a purely mathematical standpoint, we most certainly have the power to win. If the battle becomes a clash of beasts with inhuman strength, you will be our only hope. I believe in you. I'm relying on you to lead the Black Eagle Strike Force to victory. I appreciate it. A lost item. It doesn't look familiar. Maybe you should ask around. A lost item. A lost item. Thank you for this. Professor, I'm okay with fight. Oh, but and more than that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It is not up to the you please, I ask. Oh, 
I'll take it.